This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says simplify the expression 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 over x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Now, as a quick reminder, on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet. So as you work your way through these practice test questions, you want to get in the habit of copying them down accurately on your own scratch paper and working them out yourselves. Now, what we're doing here is multiplying two rational expressions. And the first thing we're going to do to simplify this expression is we're going to factor this numerator and then we're going to factor this numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we're not going to do anything with the denominator just yet. So let's just copy those down as is. Now, right here, we have the difference of squares. So in factored form, x squared minus 1 is going to be x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, let's go ahead and work on factoring 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. Again, if we can factor it, it's going to look like this, 3x times x. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 2, but will eventually add to 5x. So that's going to be plus 1 plus 2. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. Again, this will become 3x times 1, which is 3x. 2 times x, which is 2x. 3x plus 2x is how we get that 5x. All right, so again, we're going to treat this rational expression like a pair of fractions. And when you multiply two fractions, you just multiply straight across. So in doing that, we're just going to create one big expression here. Again, our denominator is going to become x plus 1, x plus 1. And our numerator is going to become 3x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, as we would with fractions, we're going to cross out corresponding values in our numerator and denominator. So we're going to cross out these corresponding pairs of x plus 1 there and there. And in doing so, we're left with this, 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. That's clearly not an answer choice because we can simplify this even further by expanding this by foiling it. So we're going to take 3x, we're going to multiply it here and here, and then we're going to take 2 and multiply it here and here. So let's do that. 3x times x is going to be 3x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. 2 times x is positive 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Of course, this isn't an answer choice because we can combine these like terms in the middle here. And I'm going to do that up here. This becomes 3x squared. What is negative 3x plus 2x? That's going to be negative x minus 2. So this is our answer. And we can see b is 3x squared minus x minus 2. So this one is b.